Welcome back. It was precisely one year ago that Aishana's longtime partner, Futa Hype, surprised her with the question of marriage. <laughs> this was followed by an appearance right here on stage, where the dancehall couple not only confirmed their engagement, but also opened up on their long-standing relationship. Take a look. The understanding of making each other happy is recent, smooth sailing, so the time is perfect. Of course we're going to have like, you know, ups and downs, but I, I think we have been through most of the downs, you know, so it's time to just enjoy ourselves right now. Today, Aishana is back on our stage in need, in need of love. <laughs> Wow, what a difference a year makes. Aisha, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Winfred, how are you? So, why are you in search of love at this time? Aren't you? <laughs> shouldn't you be married by now? Well, I mean, it's a part of life. Mm. You know, I mean, right now I'm just here doing me, you know, ready to branch out, be Aisha. So it is official that the engagement is off? Yes, it is. The relationship is over? Yeah. With Mr. Hype? Yes. Wow. Yeah. What can you tell us about why? What, well, I mean, it said reason? that, you know, generally, the cells in your body, they change every seven years, right? Mm -hmm. Well, right now, overall, I'm a changed person. Who I was years ago is not who I am now. So right now, I just want to basically, you know, just be Aishana, you know, without thinking about anything else. I just want to do me. Mm. And I think I've given so much over the period of n nine years. So right now, I just want to give something to myself. I think I owe myself that much. So basically, you know, I would say that my ambitions have outgrown my emotions. Oh, is yeah. it? And you were not pushed into that position? No. Mm. It's your own decision that, look, I'm done with this? Yes, of course. I mean, I am a woman, you know, and I know what I want. So right now, I just want to do me. Do me. Focus on me. You know, you give so much in a relationship. Yes. And I just feel like I was giving so much. But right now, it's time for me to give something to myself. And what I'm giving to myself is just freedom. I want to be able to just be free and... You know, experience life, experiment. Understood. Yes. I understand it yeah. very clearly. But I, and that is a decision taken, yeah. a, often taken by persons getting out of a relationship. Yeah. But it, the way you're, just, you're, 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 you're communicating it to me, it, it's coming across as if you decided that, look, I want to do me and so away with the relationship. And which would be scary for those in relationships right now, looking on? Because if a partner can just get up one day and just change no, and say, I'm going to do me it's now. It's not an overnight thing. It's definitely not an overnight thing. It was in the, the making? Yes, it's something that we both spoke about. This is something that he knew about. We spoke about this. And mm. we're actually great. We're good. And yeah. in, in your new song, a new video, <laughs> you are desperately in need of love. Yes. Is that part of doing you? Need no, that's is, just part of being an artist and being creative and expressing that, That's yourself. just the song? Yes. There's no reality to wanting love? Everybody has a reality. Okay. The reality is I've been committed to someone for nine years, and mm -hmm. I take commitment very seriously. And I've given a lot for nine years, but I was neglecting myself as a person. Mm -hmm. There are things that I wanted to experiment on. There are things that I wanted to try. And I, was, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't try it because of my obligations and respect for a relationship that I'm in. Okay. So right now, I'm owing myself that much so to do me. So there is yeah. that you in you that is now unleashed. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's take a look right here.
All right then. Hmm. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. needing love. Wow. What can I tell you? Um. That is a that is a ch signaling a change of not just your uh, your person your per the person in you, but your your persona as an artist. Are we seeing a new you, a new image in your music and well, career? I think people publicly might say, but. People close to me say that this is the real me, because they know me. Okay, so you've always been like yes, this. Yes, and I'm a woman, and I'm... But this was somewhat suppressed, this, this you, no? Because of my... In terms of your career, yes. your public persona. Yes, because I was, I, as I said before, I, am, I was in a relationship that was very public, and you have a respect and obligation for a relationship. Okay. So you wouldn't do certain things, if you understand what I'm saying. But now I'm free, single, I'm disengaged, and I feel like I'm giving myself, I want to express myself as an artist. Mm -hmm. And if I'm doing a sexy song, I should be able to do a sexy video. And you're still being managed by Down Sound, it's still a Down Sound yes, record. Yes, yes. Are, are they happy about this breakup or, or sad? Um, well, at Down Sound Records, everybody is like a family. We're like a team and we're very supportive of each other. And as I said before, Foot Hype is also signed to Down Sound Records. Yes. So I would say everybody is supportive. They don't get too much in our personal life. Mm -hmm. But if that's a decision that we both decide on, they're there for us. We're all a family. I have seven other stable mates there. We have Ninja Man, we have Harry Tadler, we have Specialists, we have Nature, we have Nazir, we have Donoski. And we're just all very supportive of each other. We party together, we record together, we're on each other's video shoots and stuff like that. And we're all just one big family. So at the end of the day, they're, they're going to be there to support us regardless. Mm -hmm. So. But you're not saying okay. whether they're happy about it or not? Because it was I think a big, it's not as you there, say, one big At family. the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm always saying? Mm -hmm. Don't business with man or woman of fear. Okay, and they're staying out of it. Yes, because we're there on business and they're not going to get too in-depth. And the business is not being affected. No, it's it, not. No, it's not. We're very professional. Is it easier now to do music, to do your career? Of course, it's easier in every way. It's very easy now because... Before I was, of course, I was saying before I was with someone that was very supportive, yes. But within myself, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? I felt a level of respect for that person. So there were things that I would want to do that I wouldn't do. And things that I wanted to experiment on that I wouldn't experiment on, on the basis of my relationship. Okay. Now, Futa is also in entertainment. And when he's out and he's playing and he's doing him, he's doing him because he knows how to differentiate the two. But I wasn't at that stage. I guess being a woman, it's easier, it's, it's easier for us to give a lot, you know what I mean, in a relationship. So it was kind of hindering me from doing certain things and mm -hmm. expressing myself in certain ways, especially, you know, I want to be creative as an artist. I want to sing about different topics. I'm young, you know, I want to sing about things that I'm actually going through, sing about things that people can actually relate to without thinking about what my partner is going to think. So what can you tell us about your plans now for the future and uh, what we can expect musically in the near future? We're working on new singles. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have a single with Beanie Man called Artist Gal Alive, yes. and that was produced by Futa Hype, Futa Hype Music as well. So mm -hmm. you can look out for a video for that very shortly because he's on tour right now. So as soon as him come back, you know the thing is normal. So will the video ever drop? Yeah, and Madness. I have a lot of singles coming out right now, and I've been doing a lot of work in the studio. So there's a lot more in stores. <laughs> Aishana, thank you so much for coming through and talking to us. Um, yes. 
Oh, uh, well, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know if I should say, uh, <laughs> you know. I like your eyes, my friend. <laughs> oh, you Very do? cute. <laughs> you can't tell me that now. <laughs> no, seriously. And thank you. Cute. Maybe, maybe you're bringing out no something in there that me. I didn't. You're not worried about your wife, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Clean up yourself, eh? Uh, I shout up for you right here on stage. Stay with us when we come back. The dance of cargo. Yes, I'm not my friend. No, I'm not my friend.